everybody welcome back to my channel i've officially started packing so if you guys didn't know i am going to new york um i go to nyu i'm gonna be starting my sophomore year so right now i am packing i'll show you what i have so far so i have like this backpack i will be bringing that okay and then this is the suitcase that i brought with me from new york so basically when i left in for the summer break i kept a lot of my stuff in new york it's at a friend's apartment so i only brought back the suitcase but i'm going to probably be using another one just like a carry-on size i'm going to be using this one and then i'm probably going to bring another one because my mom is coming with me so she can bring that one back and usually i just keep this one with me in new york for when i go on vacation like when i come back home for a winter break, I would like take this one back. So I actually don't have much to pack since a lot of it, like my winter stuff is still in New York. So that'll be like the brunt of the work when we get there. We'll have to get the key and then get all of my stuff from my friend's apartment and then bring it back to my dorm where I'll move in. In now two days, my mom and I are leaving in about 24 hours. We're gonna fly a red eye <laughs> overnight and get to New York early in the morning on Saturday. It's currently Thursday, so that is the plan. I didn't have too much stuff, but it was a struggle to put everything in this one. I had to extend it, and surprisingly, like the airline did not make me check in the bag for it being too big, so I hope it'll still be like that. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try and not extend this suitcase um, and just utilize the second carry-on that I have because my mom's bringing it back anyways, so I will have no shortage of space. Okay, I've mostly filled this side. I think I'm gonna put like the top that I'm wearing right now in here and probably like the, the pajamas that I'm wearing like in here. But this side is like pretty much done. This side, I think since I have all these like pairs of pants and like this like chunkier sweater, I think I can't roll those. So I'm probably gonna put that in here. My mom is going to carry this bag as her like personal item on the flight. So I think I'm gonna put this bag in this bag and then my mom is gonna take this bag. I also have like this tote bag and then these are the huge like tote bags that I'm planning on taking to my friend's apartment so that we can put all of the smaller things that I have there um, in these two like couple giant um, bags just so it's easier to carry everything. Basically, like when I packed up for everything in like May, I only had like one really big suitcase. So like the majority of my items are in one big suitcase. And then I had like five like paper bags of just like random things that I put in there. So it seemed like a lot of stuff to carry. So that's why I have these just so it's easier to like organize everything and then be like less trips up and down the stairs because getting everything there by myself was a bit of a hassle, so yeah. Okay, this is the new progress. So I think this luggage is fully done. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can put this pan in there because my new dorm has a kitchen. So I, I'm thinking, I don't know if I can, I don't know if this pan will actually fit, but Hopefully I can do that. If not, I think I have plenty of space in this luggage, but I just want to keep that extra space in case I need some things to put in there. All right, I've kind of packed everything, I believe. I can't think of anything else that I would like put in. I have these hangers right here that I definitely will put in. Uh, the frying pan, I think I could put in the second suitcase if it doesn't fit in the first one. But other than that, I can't really think of anything that I need to bring so that just makes me worry that I'm forgetting something like other than toiletries I don't know what else I would bring and I keep all my toiletries in a bag over there plus I still have the whole of my backpack I feel like I'm forgetting something because there's so much space left in the luggage but at the same time I can't think of anything else that I would pack other than extra things that I want but don't need. So I think I'm done packing and then all we have to do is get on the plane tomorrow and then move in. Oh, I'm gonna miss being at home, relaxing and like not having anything to do, being lazy and then all of a sudden I have everything to do.
We're getting ready to leave. All the bags are getting packed up. Our flight was delayed from 10.15 to 10.59, so we're leaving a little later, but now I'm packing up the rest of my things. Bye-bye, Barnes. I'm gonna come over here to you. Oh, Ro Rosie's cleaning her face. Rosie, can I give you a kiss? Mm -hmm. No, you don't want my kisses? Okay, bye-bye, Lily. Bye-bye, mm. Buns. I see you later. Hello, we're at the airport. We did not get much sleep, like three hours, but then we're gonna take a nap later, baby. Mm -hmm. Wow, Ooh, the steam. We made it to the hotel after walking around a lot and we still haven't moved in. I am moving in at five today, but we got drinks. So uh, this is my drink. Mama, what's your drink over there? We got, we got, Drinks from Lazy Sunday. We're on our way to pick up my stuff from my friend's apartment. So we have ginormous bags to put everything in. This is where we are now. Moving stuff with mama. Waiting for the elevator. We made it. I'm not gonna show this side cause this isn't my side, but this is my room. This on is my side and there's lots of natural lighting it's literally 5 p.m and there's still a lot of light in this room and we have extra space there's a third part in the closet for us so and i have really high shelves which i didn't have last year which is great so now time to unpack okay i think since we emptied out everything like right there we're gonna go back to our hotel room and get the other two luggages that we like brought from the plane and then we can fully unpack. We made it. <laughs> Again, the second trip. Now it is officially time to unpack. So I did basically everything. I just didn't do the sheets because I'm going to wash them before I put them on, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow. My desk is pretty empty because there's so much space and I have nothing to put there. But this is what my closet looks like now. I have just all of my coats and then dresses and then my shoes and then my bags. I'm still deciding what it, what I should do here. This is all the wall decor that I had from last year, but I don't have like double-sided tape yet. So I'm gonna probably put that here but I will do that after I get the tape for it. So. We finished with Korean fried chicken. Yum, yum. <laughs> My mom and I did like a little H Mart shopping so that she could show me what I could buy when I'm fending for myself and cooking for myself. So we got some beef and we got some, I don't know if you can see it down there, but some bok choy. And then I also got some ramen in here and some garlic. It's just for the next few days for when like I possibly don't have any food since we're still like deciding as a suite like what we wanna get and like who's buying what so we don't have like salt and pepper and pans and stuff. So just in case, but I'm like looking nervous to be cooking by myself, but we're just gonna try and survive. We did a Target run. It is now Sunday. Yes, and we went to Chinatown and looked around and got some Chinese groceries and we got a pot, got a strainer, shopping and then I'll have to clean it up when I get back to the dorm. So I just dropped off my mom at Grand Central so now my mommy is gone. But now I'm just going to unpack like everything that we got from the grocery store and from Target. And then I need to clean my sheets still. I'm probably going to spend all afternoon just like here now. Um, for the rest of the day, I'm gonna probably be in my dorm. I'm gonna eat here, just unpacking, cooking all the food so that I can have stuff during the week and yeah. Okay, this is the progress so far. I feel like it, 
looks like I've done nothing, but I actually have. So I moved everything up here, which was just my purse at the time, down, and then my skincare down. So now this is like hair and jewelry and shampoo shower stuff. This is my skincare along with my makeup. And then I put my bag, my belt, and my little skincare headband right there. And then that at the top, I think I'm just gonna leave the light there. This CD record, I mean, was like, I was really proud of it, but I couldn't hang it up because it just kept falling off. So I think I'm gonna put it right there and then it can be decoration. And then I've also thrown my sheets in the laundry. These are the fairy lights that I used last year to decorate. So I think I'm gonna do it again. And then I got like double-sided foamy tape from like Target. It looks like I've actually done nothing, but I promise you I have done stuff. Somebody accidentally added some time to my top dryer when um, my clothes were in it. So I have this that I took out of the dryer and then I can just add in my other load and then I get the dryer for free. So thanks whoever this is. I was literally going down to the like laundry room and I was like taking my clothes out of the wash and I look at my dryer time and I was like 75 minutes like it's supposed to be 60 and then just added an extra 75 minutes but I'm glad I got that 75 minutes because now I can do my other load of laundry without paying for it so thank you to whoever accidentally added time to my dryer I very much appreciate it okay the laundry is done now I can like finally put everything on my bed which is great because then I can start actually figuring out where I want things to go. So I think I'm gonna start decorating this wall. It's looking plain, but I don't have that many like decoration items. So I'm just gonna start. I think I'm gonna use the fairy lights and all the decor that I had last year, but I wanna like upgrade it. So maybe I'll just leave some spaces blank for that new stuff that I could potentially get. Okay, I think I've finally finished getting everything into my room and decorating it the way I want to. So let me show you guys. Okay, so now this is my desk. I've put some art up there that I don't want to hang up, an extra water bottle, skincare, beauty, right here, hair, beauty, kind of more beauty, my shower things, and then I'm keeping my desk minimal. This I like taped an extension cord to my desk. That took forever because this part sticks out and I didn't even know that. So I had to reconfigure the whole thing. This is the wall. I think I'm going to add more as time passes on. I'm a little bit mad at the way I set up the lights, but I'm way too lazy to change them now. So, and then this is my bed. Hello, it's the next day. So I slept in my bed last night. It was very nice and um, right now it's about one and I don't really have that many groceries because when I went with my mom we just got like a lot of the sauces so like the stuff that I would need for like long-term use so since today there's a farmers market I think I'm gonna go there and get some produce like my vegetables and my fruits and then I'm just gonna make lunch with the same stuff that I had yesterday for dinner
I just finished lunch, so I think I'm going to go <clears throat> to the farmer's market at three. Right now it's two. I'm gonna plan out everything that I wanna buy and think, think of the things that I wanna make this week. I have some work to do. My professors already gave me some homework, so I have to do some homework. And then I also have some work to do for my internship. Yay, so. it's much Hi. later. This is Mindy. Mindy was my roommate last year, but mm -hmm. we just had dinner with everybody that I lived with last year. Mm -hmm. And now we're going home. It's 1030. Yep. It's late at night, so. Hi guys, it's the next day. It's now the first day of classes, so I think we're gonna end the video here. Thank you for watching. It's been exciting moving in and everything and meeting my new sweet mates and roommate. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.